Now, this is uh, the fly I'm going to be tying, a oh, small bait fish, sorry, uh, which I'm going to be tying. It's, it's a very simple pattern to tie. Now, what I'm using here to tie the fly is uh, basically what they call fox fur. You get them in different slight colours there. Uh, I mean, I bought this on eBay. This is a synthetic fibre. Now, this is a size 8, just a standard saltwater style hook. Um, this one's a must add. Uh, thread I'm going to be using. I'm going to use this rusty, rusty dun to go with the colour I'm using. Now, I've waxed the thread and start at the eye. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring the thread down to just basically, just slightly by the point of the hook, to that point there. Now, it's quite a small wee fly or a wee bait fish, so I'm using the short fibres down the base here. Now, like any, like if it was a fur or anything like, you'd bring it straight out from the skin, or in this case, the cloth. Just bring it enough to form taper of the body, this will give the impression of the tail. So cut it as close to the fabric as you can. Now, like, tell me these long fibres, I don't need them. Now there's a lot of under fur, just as you would get in natural fur. Take, remove that, but keep that for your body. Now I'm going to roll it around the shank. So we just simply bring, sit it on the top. Bring my thread up. Uh, you're looking at least twice the shank or the body length hanging over the back. To roll that round the shank, encourage it to come all the way around. I'm just going to take the thread quickly up. I don't worry too much about this. I'm just going to tie in. So, because we're going to be dubbing the body, now I'm just going to use a, a brush here to brush out fibre. And you can see it's swapped its way all the way around. Then what we're going to do is get a bit of flash. So it's just a pearl light bright. And then I'm going to mix it into the the under fur that we've got. Just for the body. You don't have to do this. Just a wee bit extra. It's best to have some with and some without. Then I'm going to lightly dub it on. Just going to go up. And then I'm going to come back down a bit. See, it's quite loose, so I'm just using the thread as a rib, really. And adding, dubbing where I want it. As I wind up. Give yourself a good head area. For your, you're going to, you've got the middle part of the body, which is going to be hair as well, and obviously the head. Now what I'm going to do here is bring out the dubbing all the way around, but take, keep make sure you take your thread out of the road. I mean, if you catch it with the velcro, it will bust your thread. So take it, keep it well away. Just going to brush this in. The dubbing into the tail, sorry. Then we go back to the fox fur. And then we're going to basically take some more off, but much the same. Cut it as close to the cloth as you can. And again, what we're going to do is remove most of the under fur at this point. Again, stick it on my desk. Check the length, it's not too bad. Take away these ones. Now I'm looking to get the bar. You know, obviously, you're coming further up and you want to encourage the taper. So, this black bar here, I'm just going to tie that on. It's around about the length of the, of the hook in this case. Come round again, just force it round. A good five or six turns in there. Now before we do anything, I'm just going to brush this fibre into the dressing. 
Now this waist ends here, I'm going to use this, I'm going to fold it back, I'm just going to pull it back so it's all, it's all the way around, bring it through and by the thread, just spreading it out so it's all the way around and bring a thread to the front, put three or four turns or so in the front and then go back again to the brush. See the length here. Fine with that. It's fine. Now we're going to put the eyes, the eyes on. Now I'm going to be using these diamond eyes. It's called diamond fish eyes from the, the company's called Easy Shrimp Eyes. Uh, these are great wee things. Uh, just dumbbells, basically just break it off, just twist it off and you've got a set of dumbbell eyes. They come with a, a wee stickers for the eyes to put them on, so you've got lots of wee stickers that you can pull off. So we basically figure eight these on, sitting on the top, just figure eight through them, nice and tight. Oops. Doesn't need a lot to secure these in. Now what I'm doing here is I'm coming underneath, but basically on the top of the shank, locking in the figure eight turns I did between the eyes. Then I'm going to a couple more figure eights through, which will tighten up. And there we are. Now for the shorter here at the front to taper the give you the minnow shape. I'm going to bit finer here, I'm going to go back to my dubbing. Now it's mixed with the, with the flash, but before I do that I'm going to form a dubbing loop. So I'm going to form a nice, spin it on like a hackle. So I've got a loop of thread there, I'm just going to make sure it's going to start at the back, bring the thread back to the front. My dubbing twirler here, just put it onto the thread at the moment. I usually catch it onto the side of my, my vise. Now make sure your dubbing's well blended and then when you offer it to your the loop you can, I usually just like to pinch it away it's not going to, I'll just keep doing it till I'm happy with it when we have to bring it out, put it on into the loop itself Enough to form the head. And then when you spin, tighten it up. And then you can try this, but I like to if I could just bring the velcro through it slightly. Just to make sure that it's a nice brush as they would say. And then I'm going to just basically do a turn at the back and then I figure it through between the eyes. I've ran out. Get to the eyes here. I've got a wee half turn there. Just finish off in front of the eyes. Come around the thread with the dubbing loop. And just tie it in like you would do any material. Now it's secures. I'm basically going to fold it back and then form a nice wee head. Trim away the dubbing loop. Let's use the velcro here just to brush it out, see what it's like. There you go, it's a nice enough shape. Some obviously bits of fluff and fibre in there in front of the eye. You can't spend a bit of time tidying this up if you want. And the whip finish. You'll see how it tapers, so you basically get long, medium and then short fibre towards the front which is going to give you your teardrop shape. Which is exactly what you're looking. I mean you could trim it. 
can trim it a wee bit if you feel it's too long. You can bring it out like this and then you can just sort of taper it slightly. More so the underside rather than the top. Uh, Yeah. That will give you your teardrop shape or your minnow shape. We go to our eyes. Also, you need two, one for either side. And you, with the diamond eyes, you want it right in the centre. You don't want it slightly off, you want it right in the centre to get the benefit of the diamond eyes. So the light goes through them. Obviously we're going to seal the, the eye on with some resin. Use varnish if you haven't got the resin. A bit fiddly these wee eyes, but you can do it. Just be patient. Use your nail to centre them. I mean it totally transforms when you I mean it gives you instant minnow like when the eye's been done. This one out. I'm going to get my torch, my UV torch here, my resin. Lots of resins out there. I'm using the light, this is just a bug bond. This is a light version. Put it on the eye, just turn it to its side. It's a light drop of resin there. Set the, I set it straight away. On this side, I'm using a pedal. Uh, this is basically the bug bond torch, and it comes with an adapter that screws in in place of the, the spring cap that you get for the battery. So it's always uh, you just press the button, it's like a you can hear it, I can't show you it, but it's, it's just a thing in the floor, and I can then just press it. It's always 100%, there's never Never reduction on it. Now you can use the resin for the head, which I'm going to do. I'm just going to clean it because I was too busy talking. So what I'm going to do is just re drop in here. I like to set it straight away. I don't like it running too far into the, the fibre. So having it on your hand already, you can set it straight away. You could build up the head a wee bit better. There you are, that's it. Simple wee bait fish pattern. You see how the eyes glow, the light, you know, with the UV lights lifting them. But when, you, when the lights natural light is hitting, coming through these eyes, they really glow and catch the light. That's why uh, they do so well. As I say, they're simple to, to tie in. They're just dumbbell eyes. You could put a mark along the back of it. I think I've got you know, the bigger one here. So you can basically put some a marker pen on the top if you want to make it a wee bit more pronounced. Uh, the dark ones. So here. So, this is a good art degree, which is again nice, the nice colours. It's a brown, but with a yellow eye. So, you can mess about with the dressing. Great fun to tie and very productive. They catch a lot of fish. So, anyway, again, I say I hope you enjoyed that and thank you for watching.